Hello all and welcome to an unboxing video and it's here, my Series X is here. The one I ordered, I was very fortunate to order on day one of the pre-orders being opened. My, that was a that was an effort but well worth it. It's in front of the wall that started it all as well for me. It's in front of my wall of Xbox 360 games. I thought it was quite fitting to do that because the 360 was where I first fell in love with the Microsoft product as such. And of course the much touted achievement system which is a... Uh, yeah, well covered on this channel, my love for achievements. So yeah, it's also a bucket list thing for me as well. As a guy that's been into gaming ever since he walked into an arcade as a very young boy for the first time and owning many a consoles, I've never owned one on launch day. So for me, this is ticking something off the bucket list, something I've always wanted to do. And I'm over the moon that I've been able to do it, to be honest with you. Could this be the last time I ever do something like that? Probably will. First and last time that I'll probably ever get a console on launch day and... It's a beauty if you ask me, and I'm just so pleased it's here. So with that, let's crack on with it, and we'll start by look, just, just looking at the front here. It's very simple. There she is sitting there, the old Xbox One. Controller in front of it, Xbox logo on the top. Now, I do know I need to flip the box around, but I have got some tape to cut here. So while we've got the opportunity, I'm going to do that nicely through without scratching the box too much, I hope. What else have we got on the box? The side has pretty much just got... Some writing on in multiple languages. There's another picture of the Xbox with the Series X logo there and obviously the Xbox logo there. That's the bottom of the box there. Right, and as we flip it around, we can look at the back, which has got Halo Infinite on it. So, yeah, that's going to be beautiful when it eventually comes around. And I think this, this is, ah, there we go. There's the front looking ever so beautiful with the specs of it on there. 4K, 120 frames per second. And obviously a one terabyte hard drive and there's the, uh, the the vent i do love that green sort of sort of showing through the vent there really do like that okay so let's tip it back and because it's open it should just flip up open like this and the first thing i'm seeing is well well packaged loving the packaging all this foam here at the top at the top here which you unfortunately can't see because of the way i do my videos all this foam here supporting the console as well and straight away that's jumping out to me is if i tip that forward he says Power your dreams. Power your dreams, the Xbox logo. And I can see it's wrapped. It's actually wrapped up in sort of a thin black film there. What have we got there? Some of the paperwork sort of trying to poke through a little bit. Okay, I think it's time to get the console out. So with that, I think we'll uh, we'll flip that sideways. Flip that sideways. Shuffle it across a bit. And here we go. Let's get it out. Let's get out Power Your Dreams. That's nicely in there. So great packing from Xbox. Is that box going to fall down? I'm trying to trying to make sure it doesn't. There we go. But uh, probably, let's pull out some paperwork here. What have we got? Bit of a user's manual going on. Additional support. Controller showing that the controller still takes batteries. Now, my opinion on that, I, I always thought, I was starting to think, why don't they do an inbuilt battery? You know, like the PlayStation does. But it's... If the battery goes, you haven't got to replace the controller. So, actually, I'm all for that. I am actually all for that. Even though... There is something that's uh, a little bit annoying, which I will get to in a minute, but the, the controller from what I've, uh, I've learned and seen, they've tweaked wonderfully. So there is our uh, there is our instructions to fully telling us how to connect everything. So, yep, we'll be on to that real soon. Cannot wait to get this bad boy set up. But, yeah, let's carry on with, uh, with getting this bad boy open. Right, so power your dreams. There we go. Uh, does that, we'll slip that off rather than, uh, than tear it. Okay, so we can put that back in the box as it is. But there it is, Power Your Dreams and the Xbox logo. Pop that on the floor. And say so nicely wrapped up in some tissue paper. Can we open it without tearing it too much? There we go. And I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I, it's actually... I was still expecting it to be much larger than it actually is. I'm fact very surprised. Just getting a nice feel for that. Does look, oh yes, we're liking this. Smooth and sleek, that is looking. I am liking that. There's the back of it and all the gubbins, where all the gubbins go even, all the leads. Let's turn this round. And there we go, there's the front of it. There's the front of it. I think we're gonna have to tilt the camera back just a little bit to get a full view of it. But there she is. Very, very sleek looking as i was going to say doesn't stand out which i like and in fact it is black as well it matches all my current consoles so there we go and of course that's the stand of it which i believe you can remove and re and have it on so you can have it laying down rather than standing up 
there we go no buttons there liking that a lot liking that a lot really am as my mat will not stay still so yeah there we go that's the system just pop that aside on the floor for one second because i know in the back of it here we've got another box to pull out which i've managed to pull the top off of there we go we can move the box behind me out the way and here we go this is everything that is in the box let's go for the lead it's your standard power lead there by the looks of it to turn the bad boy on and it looks like the hdmi lead is is taped in there as well uh, i mean i've got plenty of hdmi leads but i always suggest and recommend that you always use the ones that are provided with the systems because you know provided with the system generally for a reason so yep yeah, we'll be using those ones and then finally, the bit I'm actually most excited about having a look at is the controller, which is nicely wrapped up in a piece of foam as well. It's worth noting that we've got some sort of, I think that's probably more of a warranty book thing there. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, products, products and regulatory guide, limited warranty and agreement. There we go. So that's got, that's nicely packed out as well. No movement in that. So here is our controller. Sound feels like. Comes with a couple of batteries, a couple of Duracell batteries there, it gets going, high quality batteries, and liking that, so I've got plenty bought on standby until I get a plug and play charge kit. Instant instant thoughts and feelings, is that it uh, feels about the same weight as the Xbox One does. And obviously this one's got the extra button in the middle, which is a uh, quick press for sort of sharing and, and things like that. Uh, that now matches the colour of the controller, I think. I think the ones on mine are silver, so... That looks a little bit swimming. And then we've got the D-pad, which rather than just a cross, has got filled in bits in the corner. So if you need to make a diagonal jump, you, f you can actually sort of put your thumb in there. I suppose it makes it a little bit more accurate. Clicks, clicks a lot louder, I think, I would say. And the other thing I could feel is that uh, is the grips. We've got, you can just about make that out on camera. We've got a bit of grippage going on there. And on the triggers, it will focus. There we go. So it grips on the on the triggers. Yeah, the one thing I have noticed is that uh, again, focus please, is that um, this was micro s micro USB on the on the old one. So it's got a different fitting. So you'll need a different plug and play charge kit, which is a shame because I can't just use the one that I've currently got and uh, swap that over. But the uh, the pairing button is in exactly the same place. But overall, yeah, it's, it, I was going to say it's. Um, they haven't changed it much, and I'm very much a if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of person, but they've tweaked it, and they've tweaked it for the better. I mean, it's got grips on it, so even if your hands do get a little bit sweaty, that's going to be fine. And grips on the triggers, again, nice touch. It, everything feels good about it. I mean, I'm, I can't see me being a, a, a big user of the share button, but having an actual share button in the middle there, uh, rather than having to press that and remember whether you need to press Y, is it to capture what you've just done? Or X for the screenshot. See, I can't remember. See, I'm forever pressing the middle and then quickly having a look at what I need to do. So having that share button in the middle is going to be much a much easier feature should that be something you want to use. I believe it's like a single press for taking a picture and you press and hold to record while you're currently playing or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to read into that. But yeah, it's a lovely control. Everything the same on the bottom. So I'm quietly confident that my head the current headset that I use will just, just plug into there and uh, there'll be no... No changes needed there, but it's yeah, I was gonna say it's yeah, feels good, feels good. As I say, I'm a big fan of the Xbox One controller. I didn't think they could get more comfortable than a 360 controller, and then they did. This isn't more comfortable for the, than the one, it's just as comfortable as the one, and I am absolutely loving that. I really am, I really am. And now it's, it is time for me, I think, to crack on and, and, and really set this bad boy up, and yeah. It's, it's here, honestly, it's actually here. So I'm, yeah, getting speechless. Absolutely speechless and absolutely loving it. So there we go. That is everything that is, I think that's everything. Just double checking the box one more time. I was going to say, I love the style of the box. I love how the box is packed. That's a really, really nice thing that they've done there. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in there. That's just to bring it up to the top of the box. And uh, yeah, very impressed with the controller. And loving the look of the system and surprised at how small and how light it is it's still a little bit on the weighty side as he goes for another grab of it yeah it's still yeah, it's very bottom heavy i would say it feels sort of bottom heavy yeah and does does have a bit of weight about it i mean i will 
and it's nice that you can have it sideways but i will probably do my best to keep my standing up right i think that's the best way for it to ventilate and i, I love i say i just love the green at the top i really do love the green at the top can we actually bring the system back into view just for one final time and have another little look at it there we go and as i say yeah I'm loving that greenness in the grill there i think that's just brilliant and there she is there she is can we just there we go i was going to say in front of the wall to start it all and there we are that's what we are continuing with and very much looking forward to playing as well because i am still rocking the original xbox one so for me the low times in this bad boy yep they're going to be highly noticeable highly noticeable yep very much looking forward to get this set up so that's exactly what i'm going to do right now so there we go ladies and gentlemen that was just basically me me recording a bit of a bucket list moment i know loads of people are going to do these types of videos but yeah i just wanted to do it because i don't think i'm ever going to be able to do this again certainly with a console so yeah time to get this bad boy set up i think i've already said that once so yeah i am going to get this bad boy set up that just now leaves me to say ladies and gentlemen thank you very much indeed for watching and as always please do take care